Hey guys, welcome back to 23 and 200. Something that's amazing just happened. If you watched my previous video on me doing things I hate, I mentioned that my goal for the year is to go a whole year without missing a workout. Well, I'm hit 25 days this week and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about that. Um, I also gonna talk about this right here on why I'm drinking it as well as I got a couple of goodies that I got from the store the other day. And I have something on the way which I'm super duper excited about. It all has to do with um, my workout journey. I can't wait to share it with you guys today. So you already know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed already and hit that bell notification. That way you get an update every single time I upload a video. I upload every Sunday around nine or 10 o'clock in the morning and leave a comment down below what are some goals that you have for this year that you've already started working on what are your improvements has it been learning a new instrument has it been working out every day have you seen improvements and let's be honest have you stopped because i know it's almost the end of january some of us have already given up on our goals i want to encourage you to keep going don't stop don't quit you can get there all right well, let's get into the video so officially I've gone 29 days without missing a workout. Before this, I had been working out for two months, three months straight, but I stopped because I got sick. My stomach was just not feeling well. I had little to no energy. Unfortunately, I couldn't keep the streak going. I was about 190, so I'm 16 pounds down. I've been hovering at that for a while now. And then total, I was 210 pounds. And just to give you guys a picture of what that looks like, this was me at 210 pounds. I was thick. What is that, 210, 36 pounds total in my life I've lost? Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. Some things that I've learned is that I did not expect it to be this long of a process. Originally back in September when I was 190, I said that I wanted to lose 30 pounds and be 160 pounds by December. Now looking back at that, was it possible? Yes. Is it healthy? Probably not. Also, I would say that a lot of the workouts that I hated, I don't really hate anymore. And I think this all stems from the fact that I didn't have the strength or the endurance to actually do a lot of these things, which is why I hated it. Push-ups, burpees, I even hated running. And now I wanna get back into running. I was running two miles, one to two miles every day, and then my hip gave out. But it was something I never really liked to do. Because of that, it's caused me to wanna to actually start to push myself even more. Also, I would say one of the things is pushing myself to try things that I've always wanted to do, but I never could do, once again, because I just wasn't strong enough. One of them is being able to do a handstand, a pull-up. I could do, a, when I was younger, I could do a chin-up, but it would be like me jumping into it and using the momentum to pull my body up. These are just some of the things that it's like, you know, because I have worked out, it's given me a newfound confidence and a newfound will to try new things and not just say that I can't do it because I'm not strong enough or I can't do it because my body isn't made that way. No, that's not the case. It's just that you need to train your body, you need to have discipline and take your time. And it won't come overnight, just like the 16 pounds didn't come overnight. It took four months, four months just to lose 16 pounds. I probably could have lost more if I worked on my diet, which is something that I'm working on now, but I wasn't working on my diet. So imagine what I can do with having a healthier diet, with working out consistently, and then pushing my body to the limits, because I want to see how far I can take this. My weight was never really the goal when I started this. I don't really have a weight set. My thing is I just want to be the healthiest that I can be and pushing that limit to see if I can get healthier. So if that means that I end up gaining weight but gaining muscle and looking really muscular, I'm cool with that. If it means that I lose weight and I end up looking really slim, I'm fine with that too. Lastly, what I'll say about going four months, I really enjoy not necessarily the weight loss that I've had, but being an inspiration to others. So when I announced on my video, 
I don't want to go a whole year without missing a workout. My brother has since jumped onto that train. And my mom typically tries to walk every day. Sometimes she misses it, sometimes she doesn't. And as a result of hearing what I wanted to do for the year, she now walks every day and she's trying not to miss a walk at all. Um, and then even this week on day 27, I wanna say, my little sister, she worked out with me and she's working on her own health and her own weight. So for me, as much as it's been great to see my own progress, I enjoy the fact that now I'm seeing my family make strides into their own health uh, journeys and their own weight loss journeys. Now, let's talk about this. I really did do this thing. It's like a honey citrus mint tea that you would get at Starbucks and yeah, I don't work there anymore. So Starbucks, I'm telling all the secrets. All the ingredients. I mean, the secret ingredient is... Nah, because they're going to come after me and I don't make that much money. I can't do it. Another challenge I'm in right now, sugar-free challenge. And I have to go two weeks with no added sugar. It could be natural sugars, so I'm allowed to eat fruits. I'm allowed to have smoothies. It just cannot have added sugar in it couple of things I'm learning from that is, for instance, hot Cheetos don't have sugar in them. Mm hmm Yes. And neither does Cheez-Its. That's not to say that I've been eating these things as much as now I have to be conscious of anything that I put in my mouth. Um, and so far, I've already messed up. <laughs> Typically, I drink tea, smoothies, juices, you know, lemonades. One of the things that I love to drink is also kombucha. And I didn't know just thinking, oh, it's healthy, it's good for me, I don't have to think about the sugar. I drank one and then I read the label later on and it had sugar in it. That's been the biggest thing, is just reading labels. Also, oh my gosh, the people I live with. I live with my family and they are soda drinkers, which is totally fine. However, when there is no soda in the house, they want something sweet to drink, it never fails. They come after my stuff. Who drank my apple juice? Oh, y'all don't hear me? When you are only limited to juice and smoothies and now you can't have one and a really bad craving's coming on, it can be, it can be, whew. Once again, punch a baby, kick a dog. I ain't afraid of her little child especially when I'm related to them. And lastly, let's talk about some things that I have done over the past 25 days and four months in terms of supplements. I have now become a believer. So this is one of the things I was taking. It's fat burner, basically. Unfortunately, they didn't have any when I went. Luckily, it was buy one, get one free. So I got an extra thing today and I didn't have to pay for it. Gosh, all this dust. Okay, so they didn't have that. I had to get the pill version of it. It's literally the same thing, uh, except that's an all-in-one. These are two different things. And these are horse pills. Like, I hate taking pills, and like, I measured it out. It's about the size of my index finger right here, and about $24 a bottle. Because they are buy one, get one free, I got an immune booster, which will be in the form of zinc, and then this. Ghost, and I really like this one. It tastes really good. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I wish it was, because I wouldn't have to spin an arm and a leg for this. It's supposed to help with muscles. That's where I really was sold on this, because the biggest thing for me is muscle pain after I work out. One, day two are absolutely the worst. I need a wheelchair. I need a forklift. Someone's gonna have to carry me to get to and from after a leg day, for instance. So this really works really well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, it's been a pleasure. I can't wait for the next 25 days. Maybe we should do like a 50th celebration. Maybe we should do that. Like a 50th day celebration. I'm down for that. Like I'll, maybe I'll, if you write down in the comments, what should we do for the 50th? Maybe I'll work out with somebody in the comment section. Uh, I'll give away something. Maybe, I don't know. Well, we got 25 days to figure it out. So. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. This is 23 and 200. Love you guys. Peace out.